what I know from gossip and nothing official is there's a lot of projects at Dimension Miramax that are being sold. Chris Moore came by to tell us that there's a divorce pending between Miramax and Disney. The Miramax Dimension fight that is happening right now between the two Weinstein brothers, Bob and Harvey, and Disney, sort of the corporate parent, is, is having a big effect on this movie. We're not going to release this movie, so you take it. We're not going to get involved in this franchise. We're not going to do or this thing is happening. The, the irony of this situation between Disney and Bob and Harvey is that this year we purposely chose Dimension to go with Dimension, do a genre film, so we can make a movie that people will go see. And here we are, stuck in some corporate battle. It's possible that Bob and Harvey don't have a company, and Feast just sits on the shelf forever, and no one ever gets to see it, which would be a real travesty, in my opinion. Okay, guys, uh, this is going to be a, a production wrap on a man who I like to say is probably the hardest working person I've ever seen. It's a production wrap for First Unit on Clue. Thank you very much, sir. I'm not uh, involved in acting anymore. This is a nostalgic trip for my beloved son, John. He wanted me to be in his first motion picture. And how can you deny blood? I got kind of choked up, you know. <laughs> you know, Dad got a little choked up. He says, but I didn't cry. <laughs> but you could see him going like this, making that face. Hey, Dad. Let me get a picture of the two. <laughs> Say, please. Yeah, that was, that was wild. Today's our last night of shooting. We're going to be shooting all of the outside shots of the bar from a distance, trying to establish the setting, the location, the environment that this movie takes place in. And all our shots are night shots. So if the sun comes up and we're not done, we are royally screwed because there's no going back. That goes right here. We had a few hiccups on the day, ones that we weren't expecting. We were meant to have some posts to tie in some shots to the bar. The roof part of it's not here. It's basically, it's that window right there. Yeah. That little section right there. This is the section that's missing, the beer. See, this is why they should bring the whole damn thing so we can actually shoot what we need to shoot. Originally, it was, it was going to be a whole facade. Then they kept paring it down to where now, I guess, there's... I don't, I don't know what's here or what's not here, to tell you the truth. It would have been very easy to bring another eight-foot piece of that set out here so we can at least, on a close-up, get them walking through a breach. Mike wanted to know why we didn't have um, every single piece, and it was a case of, you know, budget restricted us not being able to bring everything. The, awning the whole the thing is there. It's yeah, like the awning with the post. 40 just... miles from here, and we're out, stand yeah. out here at 4 a.m. with nothing. This is the section that's missing. In an effort to save money, they brought in a day crew to load what is supposed to be the exterior set that we need to shoot through. And since they've never been here for the first five weeks of filming, they brought the wrong portion of the set. Basically, it's going to be interesting to see what the hell we get to film. God's sakes, this is just JV all the way. God. Okay. Clear frame, guys. Doing some blocking. I need everybody over here to clear back. Is that still too close? All right, what do you think? We've got time to do this shot, and then we're, we've got to move. Rolling! Rolling sound! Fire in the hole! Two shots! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, we're moving on. Post-crash, post-crash up next. <laughs> this evening, Krista Allen had a, a very late pickup. She arrived on set at four and has come to us tired and a few cocktails and um, plenty of attitude. I'm just kind of racing the clock. Like, I can't even play at this point. Speak right now. I hope that she made it through hair and makeup without pissing off too many of them. So hopefully she'll be walking straight and it'll be fine. If you've seen the dailies, I'm sure people won't notice a difference. And I don't know how to shoot any more POVs without having a background. We can film it in one piece, you know. Well, it's just him kicking it out is going to be much more difficult on its side. As far as the schedule goes, great. We're moving very well today, but as far as getting us to that point, the end of the day is going to be a mad push. So here's your mark for the head. I picked the head up. Mm -hmm. 
Then they cross. Breaking the lights will be the cue for Eric to look back. Can we just get one, two of just the beats, you know? That's what, yeah, the, the other camera's gonna be right here. And quiet, please, action. Peace. Help me, help me. Speak now or forever. Okay. It's it. Okay, guys, that's a cut. That's a production wrap on Feast, everybody. Oh, I present you with your ceremonial chair back and congratulations on that. Thank you, Joe. It was a joy. So apparently, I just finished my first film. To you, you, too, sir. you, you, you. With all the trials and tribulation that we've gone through, and this, to see that we're here on, the, on our last day, and that no matter whatever went down, everybody's really pulled together and got us through this. I'm delighted. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. Made it before the sun actually came up. Seeing it now, you know, everybody packing up, and that actually got me a little choked up. Hey, Tom. Looks great. Oh, yeah, she did. Looks really great. It's been tough, but it's been good. I think we got a uh, pretty good movie out of it. <laughs> Pat and I have been on the other side of the curtain watching how uh, movies come to life. Today, the first phase of the process comes to a close, and I don't have the proper vocabulary to describe how exciting and, and enriching this experience has been. You didn't really tame the beast, but you kind of managed it a little bit with it. It's the last day. People are very happy. I feel good about it. I feel like we've, we've accomplished a lot. I'm hoping it all comes together in, in the editing of the film. So. Do you ever think we'd make it, man? Yeah. I remember just standing there thinking that here we started with a script that nobody really seemed to want to make, a director that nobody seemed to believe in, a, a film that we didn't think we could do for the budget and the schedule. And I think it came out well. And that's John. That's all John Gulliger. Congratulations. Thank you. You know, all of these people that worked on this, you know, are, are going to be with us, you know, somehow. So, I'll be here. Here. Forever. All right, you guys, stick with us. We're not done yet.